Hello and welcome to this electrical principles training video. In this video we're going to introduce the subject of three-phase electricity. Now this is something that people sometimes find a little bit confusing but actually once you understand the principles that underpin three-phase systems it actually all becomes fairly simple. So in this video we're just going to introduce some of the concepts, we're going to look at the test rig that we're going to be using for our tests and experiments that we'll then be taking apart. We're also going to introduce a little bit of a, a mystery that we need to solve in future videos and also towards the end of the video there will be some helpful information to help you with your assessments so make sure you stay tuned for that. So let's talk about the test rig. So let's just have a chat about the way that we've got our experiments set up here. First of all we've got our three phase distribution board. Now when we hear three phase we think of three line conductors and we call them L1, L2 and L3. Some systems also include a neutral but not always. And what we've done here is we've taken our three phases L1, L2, L3 and a neutral and we've taken them from the distribution board to this isolator so we can turn the circuit on and off without opening the distribution board up. We've also then gone from here to this device. Now this isn't something that you'll see out in the real world normally. This is a device that's been manufactured and installed here at the college so we can carry out experiments like the one you're about to see. Now what you might notice first of all is these three colours here and the black and what's interesting about that is that actually that is the old colours for a three phase system. So under the new colours these would be brown, black, grey and blue for the neutral. So that's brown for L1, which is the old colour red. And then we've got black for L2, which is the old colour yellow. We've got grey for L3, which is the old colour blue. And finally, we've got blue for the neutral. And under the old system, that was black. So those colours were changed in order to bring us into harmonisation with Europe. So, so far, we've gone distribution board to isolator, isolator to test rig. And now what we're going to do is look at how we've wired out from here. So what we've done is we've taken from L1, we've gone over to this socket here. So this socket is on L1. And then we've gone from L2 to this socket here. And then we've gone from L3 to this socket here. So these three sockets are all on a different phase. What's really important to remember, and what will become clear as these videos unfold, is that the neutral from each one of the sockets in this case, are all wired back to this point here. So all the neutrals come back to this terminal and at that point they're all connected to each other. And we'll see why that's so important as the videos unfold. So let's see how these loads, these lamps that we've got connected up, are going to behave when we connect them to a three-phase supply. So you can see here that we've got uh, a plug that is connected to a lamp holder and in the bottom of that lamp holder we've got a lamp installed. All these lamps have roughly the same amount of power rating, so they're all approximately the same. And we're going to see how they behave. So first of all, we'll turn the circuit on. So the circuit is on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn that lamp on there. Now that lamp is on L1. So what that means is that if I disconnect this conductor here, if I remove L1 supply, the lamp goes off. Plug that back in. Now what do you think is going to happen if I unplug the neutral to that lamp. Well, the lamp obviously goes off, so that makes perfect sense. Now, let's have a look at what happens with L2. So this is kind of just setting the stage, proving I've got nothing up my sleeve. If I pull L2 now, you can see that the lamp turns off. Plug that back in. And if I unplug L, uh, the neutral, you can see there that it goes off again. So again, just to prove the point, going to turn on L3, so the lamp is now on. If I unplug L3 from the system, you can see there that that's turned off. And again, what's going to happen when I disconnect the neutral? The lamp goes off. So far, so simple. At this point, though, we're going to introduce something that's a little bit different. If I turn all three lamps on, so now all three loads are connected, if I unplug any one of L1, L2 or L3, the relevant lamp goes off. L1 goes off, L2 goes off, and L3 goes off. Now what do you think is going to happen when I unplug the neutral? Now, common sense, 
the kind of build-up that we've seen so far would tell you that all three lamps will go off. That would be logical, wouldn't it? Let's see what happens. So the lamps stay on. So let's just think about what we're saying here. We're now saying that these three loads are all remaining on even without a neutral connection. And that really is kind of the mystery behind a three-phase load. How can it be that these lamps are all turned on if we don't have a neutral connection? And that's the kind of question that we're going to be answering in future videos. So from this video, the information that's going to really help you out in terms of your assessments and exams are the colour identifications, L1 being brown, L2 being black, L3 being grey, and the neutral being blue. And also just making a point of the old colours as well. So what is now brown used to be red, what is now black used to be yellow, what is now grey used to be blue, and what is now blue used to be black. So we just need to make sure that we get those very clearly in our minds. So in future videos, we're going to see exactly why these three uh, loads stay on, even without a neutral. And we're also in future videos going to look at what happens when we don't have loads that all have the same power rating connected and how that affects our neutral performance then. So there's lots of interesting stuff to come on this, so stay tuned for more. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for staying to the very end of the video and for you faithful people there is a little bit of a bonus footage here for you so what we've now got is a situation where we've got just two lamps connected into the circuit so you can see here there's nothing connected into l3 at all and now we want to ask the question what's going to happen to the lamps now when i disconnect the neutral so we saw what happened when we had three connected what's going to happen now we've only got two connected what do you think will the lamp stay on will the lamps go off is there maybe a third option that's going to happen? Well, let's disconnect our situation that we've got set up here and we'll see what that looks like. So again, the third option, the lamps didn't stay on as they were. They didn't go off, they dimmed down. So they're a little bit less bright now. Now, why might that be, do you think? Again, we'll find out in a future video.